Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in Kigali, Rwanda. Like I said, we need to try to change the narratives about Mother Africa. People keep on saying Africa is for Africans, but when I come to Africa, I see people who are not Africans, but also enjoying the motherland. I'm joined today with one of, um, I, I don't even know, I don't want to, he's Asian, and he's going to tell us who he is and why is he in Kigali, what time did he move in here. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. Sure. Mr. Lee. Yes. You look so comfortable living Thank here. Yeah? I'm very comfortable living here. Very comfortable yeah. living here. What brought you to Rwanda? So, um, I came to Rwanda in 2015 because I found a job uh, just online. It was randomly, I was just um, on a website looking oh. for maybe different like volunteer or travel opportunities. I was looking for something short term and then I found a job teaching photography and video production at a high school here in the Eastern Province. Um, Where were you before? I was in San Francisco working as a freelance video producer for about seven years before that. And you came here, but that, that, that was not in Kigali? No, that was in Ramagana. It's a, it's a school called the Agahoza Shalom Youth Village, which is a high school that was built for orphans of the genocide about 10 years ago. And in that school they get, you know, free high school education, housing, after school programs, sports, you know, music. So I went there to teach photography and video and kind of develop their media program. And um, so I did that for one year, and then I ended up signing up for a second year, and I haven't left since. Wow. But right now you're in Kigali. Yeah. Which means that you're doing your own thing right now. Mm -hmm. Why? You fell in love with the country or something? I think that's what happened. I mean, uh, I didn't plan on staying this long, and, uh, you know, one year led to two years, and after my second year, um, you know, I was inspired by what was happening, you know, through what was how the students were being impacted by you know some of the stuff I was teaching them and also just the potential of a lot of the youth here and so I started I decided to start um, kind of an arts collective a multimedia arts collective that would you know provide some opportunities and some resources and some space for you know young Rwandan artists that are starting their careers to be able to work together and develop their skills and also kind of create a community um, that would kind of develop the art scene as a whole so we try to support different artists you know, from different backgrounds. Living in Kigali for four years, definitely, if I tell you to describe Kigali in three words, what are you going to say? Mm, Kigali in three words, I would say it's definitely very peaceful. Um, it's beautiful. And the third, I would say it's, um, it's inspiring. It's a very inspiring place to be. Uh, just all the stuff that's happening here, the people, uh, the development is just like every day is just something that's kind of inspiring. Before coming to Rwanda, were you thinking that um, Africa or maybe Kigali or Rwanda would be this peaceful before coming? I didn't know anything about Rwanda except obviously, you know, the, gen the genocide in 1994, um, the movie Hotel Rwanda. So as you know, I grew up in America and that's kind of all most Americans know about Rwanda. We don't hear anything about it, you know, post-94. And so, um, you know, Doing some research, I learned a little bit more about it, but still at that point, um, you know, there was still not that much, even there was not that much content for like videos or photos about Kigali, there still was kind of a mystery. And so um, I think nowadays it's changing a lot more, so uh, there's a lot more videos on YouTube and like Google Images are showing more positive stuff about Kigali and Rwanda. But um, I still didn't know too much until I just, except from what I heard from people um, that had been here and also just coming to see it for yourself been here to come and see things for yourself, which means you're not scared of coming to Rwanda in the first place. Oh yeah, I was scared, ah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> How scared were you? Were you I mean, it's just, it's not, um, you know, once it's already like, I think just the idea is scary in the beginning. You know, I was living very comfortably in California. Okay. Um, you know, had a, you know, a freelance job and kind of, you know, was my own boss and was just kind of comfortably living. But, you know, at that point I was, thinking I wanted to do something more with my time and also like with my skills and you know I felt like I wanted to, uh, I had more to contribute than just kind of working as a freelance editor and so um, you know when I saw the, the the description for the job which meant coming to teach and work with youth and mentor like you know vulnerable teenagers and so it sounded really interesting on paper but then the idea of like oh like just move to like the middle of Africa and like live there I mean it was all kind of a big Kind of uh, let's talk about the impact you've made so far since you came in here. Yeah. In numbers, can you tell us how many people you've trained so far, like in a number? Uh, 
It's been a while because I mean I taught photography and video for two years in high school and I had probably around I don't know four to six classes so I would say from that high school it's been you know 100 100 120 students um, and then here um, you know we don't do official training but like mentoring different artists and you know we have probably around 40 different artists that we're supporting in some way and some are coming more often so we've got kind of a, a big range of of artists that I'm trying to help in one way or another, whether it's like actual like teaching them, you know, video production skills, or if it's mentoring them in like professional development, or like maybe like you know business opportunities, or how to market yourself as an artist. So there's different ways we try to like help. Can you take us around a bit in your studio? Let's see what actually goes on in the studio. Peter, sure. are you really training? Yeah. Let's uh, maybe take a look no or something. All right. So yeah. this is the. Um, gallery area and basically this this place is a five bedroom converted house that okay. kind of converted to a gallery space and a co-working space so here what does this paintings in here these um these are all you know local rwandan artists um wow. they have different styles um so we work with painters uh sculptors you know photographers filmmakers people that make jewelry people that make clothes um so they're just different artists that show some kind of creativity and they need a space yeah. to display their work this is so beautiful, right? You know, I, I play guitar too. Yeah. You, you know that? That's actually sculpture. Oh, okay. Series. I mean, this is done by some female artists. We're also trying to help the uh, female artist community. Oh. So we've got, um, you know, in this space, there's probably about 10 different artists that are displaying work. Mm. And the ones that uh, find me, meet with me, they show me the work, and I'll see if we can have a space to display it. And we try to change the gallery up for different people. So this is kind of the main gallery. It's mostly fine arts paintings. In the hallway, we have more kind of a photo gallery. So we've got a different series of work that's showing different parts of Kigali, Rwanda. These here are uh, pen sketches done by local artists, which is all done with ballpoint pen. Um, we've got digital paintings here. So really any kind of, you know, art we're trying to kind of show like the different kinds of multimedia art there is whether it's digital painting traditional painting pan art photography mm. um, all sorts of stuff wow. yeah and this like, these are all done by the locals oh right? yeah this is all it's all for young young, young up, up and coming raw artists that's amazing so in here we have the editing studio editing studio hi hi amazing we're editing videos or pictures both both yeah wow I need to come for you to teach me how to edit photos. <laughs> I only know how to edit videos, not photos. Okay. Thank you, right? Yeah. Big and uh, how long have you been here? Like, um, is it, yeah, is it still, yeah. Mm -hmm. still long. Well, this place is about uh, a year and a half old. It started in April okay. 2018. Okay. So some of them, like Frank, have been since the beginning. He was actually my intern when I was working at the high school. Oh, okay. He's also a graduate from there, too. Oh, wow. Um, and there's some like Nadine that's joined at the beginning of this year. So I mean, there's a lot. I mean, for photographers and videographers, you've got probably around, I would say, almost 15 to 20. Wow. But like, they just come at different times because they have their own jobs. When they want need, when they need to use the space, they'll come in and work on different projects. That's awesome. So this is like a part-time thing that they do, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Through here, we've got the hallway that's kind of leading toward the outdoor area, which is where we do more kind of. Fine arts, painting, um, and craft making. So, you know, we have a lot of just different paintings back here. Um, Pages will come up and set up their their easels and their paints. Um, we have a big space. Um, yeah, excellency, I saw it to you, yeah. 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 So, it's, oh, so everything happens on my end. For the painting stuff, usually, yeah, people will set up their easels out here um, and just paint different stuff. So we've got like, you know. A bunch of different fine arts that are coming in. I got a um, couple of students in here who really want to learn how to edit videos, learn how to use Photoshop, you know, learn to create content. Are they welcome? Sure. Yeah. yeah so they have to come uh, talk to me, and I'll figure out like what their needs are in okay. terms of like, because we're not really an official training program, but for people that have interesting projects, whether it's like a short film or um, if they want to start a YouTube channel, if they come talk to me, I'll see like how we can 
assist them, whether it's giving them the space or equipment or just like kind of mentoring them through the project. And you didn't tell me your name. My name? Yeah. It's Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter Lee. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Your final words to anyone who want to come to Kigali for the first time or come to Rwanda to enjoy. Any message for them? I mean, you gotta come check it out. It's a beautiful, wonderful place to come work, also to come, you know, visit. But, um, you know, this is my home now and so... I'm so, okay. you know, this video title has to be, I was, I was scared of coming to Rwanda, but it's now my home. <laughs> Like nice to meet you, right? Thank you.